All right, so the distributive property states if we have a factor like 2 multiplying an expression like a plus b, it would have to expand like this where 2 has to multiply a, then has to multiply b. You're distributing 2 along the two terms. That makes 2a plus 2b. Thus, it's called the distributive property. Now, how do you know this is true? How can we prove that this is true? Because why can't, you know, a different thing happen? Why can't 2 just multiply by a and we get... 2a plus b or maybe 2 can multiply just by b so it's now a plus 2b i'm glad you asked no you didn't ask but i asked now i can prove it using some visuals all right so maybe i could show you an example maybe i could have maybe 2 multiplied by 7 okay we know that this is 14 uh but maybe i could put it in the bracket form so 2 times 7 like that and 7, I could say it's probably the same as 3 plus 4, as you know. So, how do we find the answer to this by using the distributive property now? Well, what we can do, we can actually look at 3 plus 4 as like a group. This is an entire group that 2 will be multiplying by. Okay, so maybe we could draw this group. I'm going to draw it here. Okay. This group is going to be 3 dots and 4 holes all right so this is one group but because um this expression said two of these groups i'm just gonna clone this group for a bit i'm just gonna draw a another one which is exactly the same because they said two so it has to be exactly the same one two three four all right now one two you could see that this is how two of this looks like now, we know in total in each group there's 7 because the original value here was actually 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we know that 2 of them in total would make 14. But what if we were to just focus on 3 and 4 first? We can see if I focus on this subgroup of 3 dots, it has been replicated when the whole group was multiplied by 2. When the whole group was multiplied by 2, this subgroup of 3 dots also multiplied by 2. See, now there's 2 groups of 3 dots. And you can also see the subgroup of four dots, of I mean four holes, also multiplied by two, when the entire group multiplied by two. So, we can write it like this, where when the entire group of three plus four multiplies by two like this, it's the same as the tree, the, the tree subgroup multiplying by two, so that's like this, and the four subgroup also multiplying by two. So it will look like this. Now, you can see that this is exactly the, the distributive property. 2 multiplied by 3 to make this, and 2 multiplied by 4 to make this. Thus, I've proven the distributive property. And this works for any value. It doesn't just have to be 2, 3, and 4. You can have any subgroup which represents a term, and as long as you multiply it or replicate it, that individual subgroup will be replicated equally because that subgroup will remain the same amount in each group. And because each group, you're having multiple of these groups, you know, you can have multiple, there will always be three in each group. So, yeah, it's, it's you can do it algebraically like this also, where you can actually see that if I were to have two times three plus four, uh, it's the same as having two of these groups, right? So maybe I could have this group like three plus four plus four, 3 plus 4. This is having 2 of each group. And you can see that there are 2 trees in each group. So 1 tree is here, 1 tree is here. So that's 2 times 3. And we also have 4, we have 2 4s in each group. 1 4 here and 1 4 here. Plus 2 times 4. There, distributive property applies. Thus, visually and algebraically, the distributive property can be proven. So, just for, you know, to make sure, to see whether this does still hold up uh, as we saw the original one was 2 times 7 is equal to 14 but now is the distributive property applied version the same well 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 4 is 8 6 plus 8 is 14 so it still applies so it works thus that's my proof for the, the distributive property basically you replicate a group the subgroups are equally replicated so yeah